in the huge, mysterious ocean where sunlight barely reaches the deep lives an amazing creature of unmatched size. Imagine a creature longer than the airplane, weighing more than 30 elephants. This is the blue whale, the largest animal ever to have graced our planet. To truly understand its greatness, we must look at its amazing insides, its heart, a giant engine the size of a small car beats only a few times a minute, yet it pumps blood through tubes so wide a human could actually crawl through them. Its tongue alone weighs two tons, heavier than an adult elephant. But this giant of the deep eats one of the ocean's smallest creatures, the tiny krill. A blue whale eats up to 8,000 pounds of these tiny animals every day. That's about 40 million krill each day. Each year, these giants go on long journeys across the world, following the seasons. They travel to the poles in summer to eat the rich krill, then go back to warmer tropical waters in winter to have their young and breed. Blue whales make the loudest steady sounds in the animal kingdom, reaching an amazing 188 decibels, louder than a jet engine. These low-pitched calls can be heard from hundreds, even a thousand miles away, like a shout across the open ocean. In the warm, sunny waters of the tropics, a new giant is born, the blue whale calf, entering an ocean that is both caring and dangerous. After being pregnant for 11 to 12 months, the female gives birth, usually in the winter. A newborn blue whale is already huge, about 23 feet long and weighing over 6,000 pounds, even for the biggest animal on earth. This first stage is very fragile. From birth, this calf starts one of the fastest growth spurts in the animal kingdom. Powered by its mother's incredibly rich fatty milk, a nursing blue whale mother makes over 50 gallons of milk a day. And the calf drinks 50 gallons daily. This lets the young whale gain an amazing nine to 10 pounds every hour adding over 250 pounds each day and growing up to 1.5 inches daily. By seven months old, the calf is already 50 feet long and weighs 46,000 pounds. It will stay with its mother for about seven months, learning how to live in the ocean. In the 1930s, their songs nearly fell silent forever. Whalers, armed with cannons, turned them into lamp oil and soap. By 1960, 99% had vanished, just 1% clinging to existence. We slaughtered over 30,000 in a single year until the ocean's giants became ghosts. But in 1966, humanity paused, commercial whaling banned, and slowly, defiantly, the blue whales returned. Their recovery, though fragile, is a testament to nature's resilience. Today, the blue whale is listed as an endangered species, protected by laws around the world. The main dangers they face now are getting caught in fishing gear, crashes with large ships, getting tangled and noise pollution. Blue whales can live for about 80 to 90 years, showing how strong and long-lived they naturally are. But their future now depends greatly on what we do. Strong efforts to protect them are happening worldwide, focused on reducing the modern dangers. 
Scientists and conservationists are working to lower ship strike, help injured or tangled whales and lessen the effect of ocean noise. Modern day techniques like satellite tracking is being used to guess where blue whales might be almost instantly. This gives important information to reduce human impact in dangerous areas. The blue whale, a unique symbol of the ocean's lasting greatness, reminds us that our planet's health depends on our willingness to understand, protect and live with its most amazing creatures. Their survival isn't just about saving one species, it's about keeping our global oceans healthy and balanced, which are vital for all life. 